Okay, so in just in case you missed the lecture, today I'm going to demonstrate how uh, to shade in and sketch a fruit or vegetable. Um, remember, this assignment is due to me by Friday. So uh, for today's demonstration, I'm going to use an apple, although you can use any number of fruits and vegetables. Yeah, I have quite a lot to choose from here. So even if you don't have an apple, that's okay. Any fruit or vegetable that you have in your house will work. The only one, the only one I suggest you don't use is an orange because it's a circle and that can be kind of boring. So there are five different points of view that I'd like you to do for this sketch. Um, you're going to do a side view, a tilted forward, tilted back, okay, a top view and a bottom view. So let's get started. I always like to start with the side view. Okay, just that's kind of what we think of when we think of a fruit or vegetable. Start by kind of sketching a general outline. An apple is shaped a lot like a circle, so that's where I start. From here, I refine my shape. Okay, I notice it's a little smaller at the top. It's, it's a little flatter at the bottom, excuse me, a little smaller at the bottom. Okay, and a little flatter, so I kind of refine that shape. I noticed that maybe it flattens up a little bit at the top too. Make Refine these shapes first before you erase kind of any sketches. You never know if you want to go back and make changes. This is the area where the stem meets the apple. And then I add my stem. Stems are oftentimes smaller at the bottom, larger at the top. Think of them as reverse tree branches. After you get your sketch where you want it to be, maybe I'll Round it just a little bit more. Okay, you can erase any lines you don't want. Next, I'm going to do my tilted forward. Whenever I do tilted forward, I like to start with the part, part of the apple or part of the fruit that's kind of closest to me, the viewer. So I notice that kind of front portion, this is going to be the front portion of my apple. So I start with the top of the apple first. Then the bottom, a little bit flatter and smaller than the side view. Don't forget to add the stem, which falls right in the center of our top. Again, smaller at the bottom, bigger at the top. Erase what you don't need. That includes the outside edges and your guideline. Next, we're going to do tilt it away. We start with the same general circle shape, but this time I'm going to include the bottom of my circle. Notice how in the center I can see a little bit of that bottom. And where that inside stem goes in is really pronounced. So be sure to include that as well. The more details you sketch in now, the easier it will be to shade. So I'm kind of adding some lines to help me but when it comes time to start shading these in. Erase your guidelines. And there you go. Now I don't see this in my picture, but if you want, you can add just a little tiny bit of the stem poking up above. Next, I'm going to do my top view. Starts off the same as all the others. Start with the circle. Then you'll notice in this, almost not quite in the center, maybe a little bit off, we have our stem. I do a little guideline to help me. Again, smaller at the bottom, 
figure at the top. We also see the area where the stem and the apple meet, that circle. Next, we're going to do our bottom view. Now, when I look at my bottom view, I start with, just like before, I do a little dot to help me guide where the bottom of it is. And don't forget to add details. And there you go. I have my five perspectives. So the steps are as follows. Sketch the outline, the contour sketch, that outside edge. Sketch the inside details, such as where the stem meets the apple and the stem itself. And finally, erase any guidelines that you don't need. Stay tuned. Next, I'm going to start the shading portion of this project. Now,